The Knights of Ren actually make a lot less sense than I thought they would, which is a really big bummer because I was actually very interested in The Knights of Ren. Uh, when Rise of Skywalker came out, I was excited to see what they were up to, where they had been this entire time, and really who they were. The reason I'm making this video is because I was looking up what was going on with the Knights of Ren, who they were, where they came from, what their business was, and it left me a bit more sour than when I went into it. Made me feel like I wish I didn't look it up because it had such potential as a lot of things with Star Wars have nowadays. But I'm not going to go too in-depth into the Knights' background. I'm going to give a lot of the things that piqued my interest and then go from there. One of the big ones being that it could have been Ben's turn to the dark side. So if you didn't know, obviously, the Knights of Ren are a bunch of masked force users who worship this lightsaber called the Ren and serve the leader that wields it. Now, a couple of the cliff notes that I thought were really interesting are that they, A, served Kira during the time of Crimson Dawn, and one of their former leaders actually went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Darth Vader in Vader's castle. Now, that is interesting, but also this leader who went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Darth Vader in his castle escaped and survived, which, what the heck? Anyway, the lore behind the Wren is that the people who serve and worship the Wren see the saber as just. It has no bias. The leader who wields it is doing the right thing. All that good stuff. Now, the saber changes owners when they're defeated in combat. Kind of like another saber that we know about. Anyway, with the old leader going up against Vader, Vader apparently says you're not worthy to wield this saber and essentially loses this challenge because he doesn't win which again th 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 that just doesn't sit right with me anyway it said here how kylo or ben came into possession of the wren making him the leader of the knights of wren is that after he left the jedi order and as we know destroyed all the jedi ran off he then came across the leader of the wren and killed him but then discarded of the lightsaber that makes you the leader and then the new knights of ren followed him which again to me makes no sense because if you worship this saber and they discard of the thing that they worship why are they still serving the person who i i don't know i really really don't know now kind of rewinding for a while the Knights of Ren have been around for a while. They actually, like I said, when they teamed up with Kira in Crimson Dawn, they kind of helped in her fight against Palpatine. So they obviously didn't serve Palpatine. They just served the Ren. Now, again, going to why I think it could have been such a good turn for Ben to the dark side is when I first read it, I was under the impression that Kylo and Luke went to fight the leader of the Knights of Ren and Kylo beat him, but no, it was the other way. But I, I, I truly do think it would have been cool if Kylo and Luke went to fight the leader of the Knights of Ren together and kind of like a Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, Maul type of thing. Luke gets injured, can't fight. Ben finishes the fight, becomes the leader of the Knights of Ren, holds the saber. Well, in a sense, this saber could... I don't know, act like a horcrux in Harry Potter. Not so much that the person's soul is stuck in there, but it has an effect on you. It makes you more susceptible to the dark side, right? So Ben could keep this and be like, hey, this, this is cool. This is dope. And over time, he slowly becomes more willing to tap into the dark side and whatnot, thus leaving him more vulnerable to Snoke entering his mind. And what I was under the impression of is that the Knights of Ren were the Jedi that Ben took with him when he left the temple. No, the Knights of Ren were already the members of the Knights of Ren <laughs> and Ben just took them over, which is kind of like, 
okay but i think that lore would have been a bit cooler because those people the jedi that he took with him essentially could have been sympathetic saying hey yeah you you earned this saber you killed him you know and at the same time luke could be saying hey get rid of it destroy it it's evil it's the dark side and ben could be saying no you you know, you're jealous. You hate that I have this power. You hate that I this. You hate that I that. You hate that I bested you. I, you hate that I did something that you weren't able to do. This could be the thing that turns him to the dark side. And ultimately, in episode nine, when Han says, no, Kylo Ren is dead. And Ben throws the saber into the water. That would have been such a full circle moment. But... I don't know. I just thought that was really, really interesting. And I thought it was something that, I don't know, I wanted to share with the people seeing is that the lore behind a lot of the characters in the sequel just doesn't hit right. And I personally thought that this lore would have been cool to see something, an artifact turning someone to the dark side instead of just simple visions and whatnot in Ben's mind that end up causing Luke to chop up his own nephew in his sleep but that's neither here nor there but anyway thanks for checking into this video if you want to see more let me know down below what do you think of the knights of ren cool a flop i don't know see you in the next one